Suction filtration can be a slow process, particularly if your school doesn't have vacuum pumps. You can speed up the process with a water aspirator from Flynn Scientific. A water aspirator is an inexpensive and dependable source of moderate vacuum in your laboratory. Attach the water aspirator directly to a laboratory faucet. If the aspirator does not fit easily, use a female coupling and universal adapter to attach it securely. The universal adapter will fit virtually any faucet by tightening with a flathead screwdriver. For an extra tight seal, you can wrap the faucet and adapter threads with Teflon tape. Once the aspirator is tightly secured to the faucet, attach a length of 3 8 inch diameter tubing to the water outlet of your aspirator. The tubing should be long enough to reach a drain with a little bit of slack. Aspirators use large amounts of water, so be sure to direct the tubing into a clear drain to avoid potential flooding. At this point, you can connect the aspirator to your trap okay, to prevent any liquid from being sucked back into the line. Connect the trap with another tube to the vacuum flask. Make sure everything's tight so that vacuum is as strong as possible. Okay. Once you've checked all seals, everything's connected well, you're ready to go. You can turn the water on and start that partial vacuum. As water rushes past the sidearm aperture, a partial vacuum of about 10 millimeters mercury or 10 tor is formed. This is enough pressure to significantly speed up vacuum filtrations to accommodate short lab periods. Don't eliminate experiments that require slow gravity filtrations. Instead, speed up the process and allow your students to do more chemistry and less waiting by following these simple steps for using a water aspirator. 